Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is the first video. This is the first little introduction. I'm going to finally start doing these videos. I'm going to try to be on it and do this once a week and just kind of talk about service industry, restaurants, kitchen, the grind, line cooks, being an aspiring chef in today's industry. We're just going to talk about restaurant work, man, and just kind of just talk about restaurants. It's, um, it's something I've been doing a long time. This is something I've been talking about a long time, and I just feel like it's very proper to do. Um, yeah, just a, something I can talk about being a line cook with people, talking about being an aspiring chef in America today. And yeah, I mean, I'm currently out in Boise, Idaho, working at, at a um, wine and tapas restaurant, as well as a farm to table restaurant. It's a very busy local um, American food, most of it. And yeah, man, I mean, um, I just wanted to start with this first episode, kind of talk about um, what it really means to me to be in the kitchen and to be in the service industry and what it's done for me and what it's done for my life. And um, the fact that it's given me purpose and it's really taught me how to work hard. These are probably the two biggest things that working in restaurants has given me. Um, I'll touch on different subjects every week We'll talk about addiction in the kitchen, addiction in the restaurant industry, alcohol problems in the restaurant industry, meeting all different types of people, because we meet everybody in kitchens. We meet everybody in restaurants. Um, the attitudes, eating properly, how, um, just approaching work with a positive attitude, you know, we go for long hours. We go for, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hour shifts sometimes. Sometimes we don't sleep very much and we get up and we go do breakfast or brunch followed by lunch. And then all of a sudden we're doing dinner again and it's a grind. It's a day to day hustle. You know, if we're lucky, we get two consecutive days off. Um, but it's very rare. And, um, yeah, man, the knowledge um, and just just kind of the physical and mental, um, I don't know what I'm looking for here, The how physically and mentally demanding the restaurant industry is. And especially back in the kitchen, um, you know, some of us are doing prep, dish, and executing tickets and you know doing the line i'd like to focus mostly on the kitchen with this show um yeah the front of house is a part of the component and it's a a piece of it and we're going to talk and touch on the front of house type of stuff but this is mostly what i'm familiar with is the kitchen grind and being you know around food and executing service and stuff like that what I call being in the trenches and being in battle and I mean this is just kind of an introduction video I'm just kind of I'd like to help aspiring chefs and um, line cooks dishwashers prep cooks whatever the case whatever your job title is in the kitchen um, I hope this show is for you and it's something that that can help you find motivation and inspiration for the kitchen grind and kitchen work. I hope I can help you approach work with a positive attitude. I hope I can help young up and coming chefs and line cooks look at um, work in a healthy way and have a good positive outlook. And yeah, approach these 12 hour shifts, you know, with, um, with a good attitude and a good outlook and make sure you're focusing on the right things. Um, I know when I first started in the kitchen, I was 16, I was bussing tables, 
it didn't mean anything to me, you know, and then doing dishes, I was a dishwasher, you know, of course, I think that's a very proper start for any chef, it's a very prop, proper place um, for anybody really that's working in the kitchen, you, you know, you should start as a busser and then move to dishwashing, or maybe just dishwashing is where you start. The best entry level position is definitely the dish pit, dish room. Some people say calling it the dish pit is degrading, <laughs> but um, you know what I mean? And um, that's how I learned was busing and then dishing and being a dishwasher. And it was five days a week, um, you know, going in early, 8 a.m., 7 a.m., weekends was, weekends were big when I was 17, 18 years old. It was always Friday night dinner, very busy doing dishes. I was there late, you know, till like 1 or 2 a.m. doing the dishes. Always the last one to leave. Um, you know, taking out all the trash in the building. Everybody else was out at the bar drinking and out on the town drinking and partying. I'd get off, at, you know, get out at midnight or 1 a.m. And, um, you know, being young and stuff like that, I guess they kind of demand a little bit more of you or they, they put you through a little bit more. So it was a lot of, um, you know, Friday night dinner shift, very busy, 12 o'clock, doing dishes till 1 a.m., 2 a.m., come back Saturday morning, usually for a busy, busy breakfast or brunch. So, boom, you're coming in the next morning doing dishes again. You, you handle all the dishes for breakfast and brunch. Then you're cruising into lunch. Maybe you get a break, and then you're coming back for dinner and doing dishes as well. But yeah, that um, at a young age, that is a very proper start. And it really, really kicked me into shape. And it taught me very early um, to be, to feel proud of, you know, working really hard and sweating and not being afraid to get wet, not being afraid to grab dirty plates and forks and spoons that had been in people's fucking mouths. You know, there's gum on plates. There's, you know, there's disgusting shit you have to just kind of push through. And, you know, you get kind of tough being exposed to that. You just have to move fast and not really, you don't really have time to complain and overthink things and be picky. So, I mean, that was just a very proper start in the dish area. And, you know, after dishing, you know, you can go to prep. And, you know, if you were like me at a young age, I was just doing dishes. It was just a job. I was 18, 17, 18. I just needed beer money. I needed alcohol money, uh, weed money, and um, money for drumsticks and drum, um, drum heads. I remember, you know, for me, uh, I got in the kitchen so I could pay rent, buy alcohol, and buy drumsticks. So because I was playing in a metal band when I was younger. And yeah, I needed to buy drumsticks. So with that also came the alcohol. I was around a lot of alcohol because I was, you know, working in restaurants and I was playing in metal bands. So, you know, it was kind of, it was a fast, fast, destructive lifestyle for sure, you know, um, you get off work and then you start, you drink a little bit. Maybe you go out and party. And, you know, that's a very dangerous thing to fall into night after night after night. So you have to be disciplined. And you have to be mindful. And you have to really kind of... It, it did. It taught me discipline. It taught me that if I didn't sleep or rest, I was going to pay for it the next day. And I wasn't going to be able to perform at work. But at a young age, I didn't give a shit about that. I was not mindful. I didn't care. And yeah, you know, you get off at 2 a.m. and you drink and you go party with your friends and have shots and, you know, pass out at 3 or 4 a.m. Get up at 
nine or ten and go do it again. And um, yeah, it just really it taught me a lot at a young age getting into restaurants. And um, just it just taught me how to work hard. And yeah, I just remember those mornings, man, just waking up like a car and fucking ran me over and just throwing up by the fucking grill and you know I don't know just being hung over and young in the kitchen it was terrible but it taught me a lot and it like I said it was in the younger days I was young and um I actually care now I've evolved things have changed dramatically and you know back then in your first kind of when you're first starting out in the kitchen you don't really you don't think about the millions and millions of small details. You're just trying to scrub your dishes and get the fuck out of there so you can meet up with your friends and go party. That's really what it was. It was all about that paycheck for, for booze and, you know, so you could go party. Um, yeah, but it's like, you just kind of, you just kind of start to stick around and start to learn some things. You know, then it was after dishing, it was prepping. And then that's when I was exposed to handling food. I didn't know anything about food at all. Um, this helped, you know, when you start to, when you're dishing, you really have to make a conscious choice. You have to make a decision to get out of the dish pit, dish room. You kind of have to make a choice to either just do dishes forever or show interest in food, show interest in cooking, you know, and, um, you kind of have to take it upon yourself when you're slow, when you're doing dishes, you're slow to go up on the line, go in the kitchen and tell the cooks and chefs to teach you. You have to take it upon yourself. You have to show interest and you have to let them know that you want to learn and that you want to evolve out of the dish room. Um, then they'll give you a prep day. So you, then you're doing dishes four days a week and prepping one day a week. And then this is when you start to learn how to handle a knife. This is when you start to learn quality and ingredients. You start to learn what good food looks like and what bad food looks like. And you start to learn how to be clean around food and how to be safe with a knife and safe around fire and safe in a small kitchen. And, you know, you start to learn the, the lingo, the kitchen, the kitchen lingo and the, the terms start to say behind you. And this is tell people that this is hot, you know, um, start to communicate and get your kitchen kitchen communication going and um yeah it's it was a very awesome thing to make that jump from the dish room to prep all of a sudden prep you know you start to learn you know portions what food is what you know quality and stuff like that like I said start to use a knife a little bit more and um then once you get you know, start to prep a little bit, you can start to, you know, maybe do dish and salads. You could do pantry and dish. That's a very good entry level spot. And, um, yeah, just start to learn salads, appetizers, cold side, garmage, pantry. Yeah. And then, you know, slowly start to get on the line and then you know you're starting to move and groove during service and you're starting to interact with the chefs and the cooks and you know tickets are coming in and you're starting to learn how to communicate and you're starting to be you're starting to learn your sense of urgency and you're starting to be exposed to the rhythm that that is there present in the kitchen and there's a rhythm to everything and there's a rhythm to the kitchen it's you can find it in most work environments but there's a flow state and there is um there's a place you can tap into where you're flowing and you're going you're moving forward 
and you're pivoting and you're you're um you're on your toes and you're jumping around and dancing around and making moves and you're moving forward and you're being you're being productive and you're being active and that was something that just to this day I'm so grateful for what the kitchen has shown me just that that work ethic just that that non-stop 8 to 12 hours of being on your feet always problem solving always stepping up to the plate always trying to be there for your team members and you know at the end of the day you're you've got your team members backs and you guys are just all pushing forward to be a well-oiled machine and you want you want people to be like you want you want your team to be excited that they're working with you you want people to be excited that you're part of the team you want to be the guy that leaves all of your outside problems at the door you want to be the guy that can put on his apron clock in and then what chef needs done i need done what what your team needs done you need done and that you know that you're not going to you want you want people to know you're putting on you're putting on your apron and you're going to be there for them till the end of the shift you know from start to finish no matter what needs done you're going to push through you're going to find a way and um no complaining you're going to you're not going to be complaining you want people around you that are moving forward teaching you and that care about doing a good job you want to be around people that care and you want to be around people that are knowledgeable too you know and just focus on learning in those early stages of the of the kitchen work the early stages of your career in the kitchen learn as much as possible you're seriously going to learn more than a lot of um culinary school people these people that go to culinary school they get out of culinary school and they they have this weird mentality they think they're a chef because they went to school and they know how to fucking measure things and they know how to read a recipe and that my friends does not help you on a friday night when it's it's on and it's battle time and it you're in the weeds and tickets start rolling in and the fire is on man and it's heating up you're covered in sweat there's knives there's people yelling things are happening you have to be able to shrink your world and focus you focus on the tickets you focus on service and your chefs and you focus on being one with your team and moving forward together you can't have this mentality where you walk in expecting to have an easy day you can't walk in and go and think to yourself how can i get away with minimal work today i want to have a chill job how can i have a, a minimal work day today you know that's just that's just not the right attitude in this industry you have to be open to learn everything you can and these kids that come in out of culinary school they learn they learn very quickly that it's not what they were were thinking for three two or three years you know they weren't they had no idea that it was going to be this the most stressful sir the, the most stressful job besides fucking being in the military nobody prepared them for this nobody prepared them for the dangers and the high stress and the shitty fucking attitudes and the terrible people that you come across in working in kitchens nobody prepares them for this type of stuff nobody teaches them how to have composure compassion empathy and humility if it's one thing these culinary people don't have it's humility you have to be on the same page as everybody else and you cannot be looking down at people 
and talking down to people. You have to get on the same page and care about teaching the people around you and learning as well. You have to you have to admit there's some things I know that you don't know. There's some things you know that I don't know. So with you know when once you admit that you're more open to things and learning things you can then take on new new things and it, it leaves you open to so much growth and development if you go in there thinking you you know everything and that you've been taught and prepared to the fullest you're wrong and you're going to you're going to be very stressed out and you're going to be very, very confused and maybe even discouraged, especially these days when people don't really want to work hard. If they don't have to, they won't go out of their way to work hard. The kitchen can turn you into the most hardworking person, and I'm so grateful for it. And um, that's just one of the biggest things besides meeting wonderful people and very very evil shitty people you're gonna meet everybody on the spectrum in kitchens and restaurants you're gonna meet everybody you need to be prepared for that but you also need to be open and focused on learning try to learn as much as possible and respect people around you respect everybody around you anyone that comes and crosses your path in the day respect them show them courtesy show them respect and you'll be all right as long as you're open to learning and you're treating everybody decent and okay and how you'd want to be treated you're gonna be okay you're gonna you're gonna have painless days and you're not gonna suffer <laughs> but if you're trying to have a really lax day and just kind of do minimal this is not the scene it's not the industry it demands a lot physically and mentally of you you have to be able to push forward move forward you can't hold grudges and you can't drag your feet and um that's just one of the biggest things man is just that attitude and that approach that you go into the kitchen ready to just power through and learn and make the adjustments and put energy, time, effort, and love into everything you do. Yeah, man, I mean, uh, that's just a little bit. That's just a little bit of um, just what comes to my mind, you know, and what the kitchen's shown me and what it's done for me. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to start this show or whatever you want to call it i'm not really calling it a podcast it's not really a podcast form maybe eventually in the future i can start doing that but i just really wanted to get this going and get this get this project going so once a week i'm going to try to touch base on here and talk for 15 20 30 minutes different subjects every week and um I'm just really excited to finally get this going. I hope it helps people. I hope it brings some passion and some motivation into your day and into your career. Um, cook with confidence. Be proud that you work hard. And that's something just that's something people do not look for or look at or focus on or pay attention to. Be proud that you are you're a working class hero. Be proud that you give it 110% all the time and you're physically and mentally putting everything on the line every day. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to reach out here soon. I'm going to do another video in a couple days. Um, maybe even tomorrow. I just really want to get this going and I want to put up really good content for up and coming chefs line cooks restaurant workers kitchen people um yeah have an awesome day and i'll talk to you soon stay positive cook with confidence help people
and put out amazing food. I love you. Have a great night.